Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Now in today's episode, I'm just showing you some footage of the pups and I'm talking to you with an overdub, which means I'm not really doing this as I film, I'm just talking to you recording at my desk while I show you footage of the pups. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something pretty crazy today that has come to my attention. A lot of people are talking to me about it and they're discussing it with me about how Siberian Huskies I've kind of made it up to the top of the list in being one of the most dangerous dog breeds, okay? Everybody's having a freak out sesh. They're like, oh my gosh, why, why did Huskies make it to the top, you know, five or top three of the most dangerous dog breeds? And I'm not really sure if this is a nationwide or worldwide poll. I, I have not really no idea. I haven't really delved too deep into any of the articles that are talking about this because most of the time what these people are talking about doesn't really matter it doesn't make sense and i'm going to teach you guys exactly why today so in today's episode we're going to be talking about statistics because statistics play a huge role in what's going on here in the studies that are done on dog breeds and today i'm going to clue you guys in on everything that you kind of need to know when it comes to these weird studies and these weird statistics about which dogs are the most dangerous dogs or which dogs are the most likely to kill you in your sleep and steal all your money and kidnap your grandma and take her to jamaica i don't know so first things first most of these studies they get their information from hospitals clinics places where they treat dog bite wounds, okay? Right, if you are going to want to aggregate information, try and figure out what dog breed is the most dangerous, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out how many people have been bitten in a year's time by each dog breed, right? You wanna know like, okay, well, how many people were bitten by a pit bull? How many people were bitten by a husky? How many people were bitten by a golden doodle? We're gonna take all that information, we're gonna figure it out, and we are going to rank each of these dogs. That's kind of where the mindset comes in. It's kind of like, okay, let's just hit up every clinic and then just figure out which dog is biting the most. So at first, that sounds fine because you're like, okay, well, that kind of makes sense, right? But here's why it doesn't make sense and here's why you can't base anything off of that information. One of my least favorite things, and mind you, I did go to university for more than four years. I studied math extensively and specifically math and business. So statistics are one of my least favorite things. And the reason is, is because statistics is almost always wrong. There's almost always a caveat that you can add into the statistic and you can kind of bend it to your will in a way. Every clinic, every hospital that takes in a patient, if they are bitten by a dog, they write it down. So they, they know that. And not only do they write down that the person was bitten by a dog, they've written down by what breed. So we take all that information, right? We find, oh, look at this, Siberian Husky way up at the top. Does that mean a Siberian Husky is more violent than a Chihuahua? Here's where the problem lies, okay? This is the error in the statistic. Let's take a Chihuahua as an example because they are cute dogs, but they're insanely aggressive most of the time. They're very, very loud. They like to make sure that everyone knows that they're like, you know, maybe little, but don't mess with me. And that's fine, I get that. But here's the deal. Let's say you go to your friend's house and their chihuahua bites you on your hand or even like your face. What's gonna happen? You're probably going to take that chihuahua and push it away from you. You'll probably go into the bathroom, look at it, be like, ha ha ha, that little chihuahua just bit me on the face. That's really funny. You may put a Band-Aid on it, you may put some Neosporin on it. If you're super safe, you will go to the doctor, but most people will not. Why? because it's a chihuahua, because it's small, because when it bites you, it doesn't really do that much damage, right? Now let's consider the next option. You get bit by a Siberian Husky, okay? It's gonna do way more damage. If a Husky bites you with ill intent in the same manner that a Chihuahua may bite you in, you are going to probably bleed. You're probably going to have a deep flesh wound and you may even have broken bones depending on where the Husky attacked you on your arm. Now the first thing you're gonna do when you start bleeding everywhere and you have broken bones is you're gonna run to the hospital or you're gonna run to the clinic and you're gonna tell them immediately what happened. Now you see both of these situations now side by side. We have a way bigger dog, a Husky, 
When it attacks you, it gets reported. We have a smaller dog like a Chihuahua. When it attacks someone, it may not get reported. So now that you know this information, you cannot base which dog is more violent because most people aren't going to report a bite from a chihuahua. And in most cases, maybe, maybe not, who's to say, but chihuahuas may be biting more people than any other dog breed, but we would never know it if we based it all on the information that we're getting from these healthcare clinics and these hospitals. It's definitely good information, but it's only a piece of the puzzle. You have to take that element and add it to so many different other factors. Then you can decide which dog breed is the most aggressive. The problem is that more times than not, the only dog bites that get reported are by bigger dogs because they do more damage. And because of this, it looks like on paper that these bigger dog breeds are way more aggressive because they're the ones biting people. But really, the smaller dogs could be just as aggressive, if not more. But like I said, those bites don't get reported. So if you guys see something in the news, it's like Siberian Huskies, they're so dangerous. They may maim your family. It's really not accurate information. All right, now for something a little bit new. I'm bring something cool your way today. I'm gonna bring you my favorite comments of the month. These are comments that I think are absolutely hilarious. Some of them are mean, some of them are nice, some of them are just a little bit confusing. But either way, I saved these comments because I thought that they were hilarious. I found some enjoyment out of them and I wanna share them with all of you. So here's the first one from Dan Darth. It says, you did that mess, owner. It is not dog's fault. It is owner's fault. Because they buy pets and have no idea that dogs, cats, etc., are not toys. You must have time to spend training, walking. So, no punishment here for my pets. I am to blame. Now, this is a really, really confusing comment. Because at first he kind of starts off in my face like, you did that mess. He's blaming the mess on me. He thinks that the garbage my dogs got into was me doing it for the video, which it wasn't. I know a lot of people have said that in that video, but then he kind of morphs it from my fault into like an overall all pet owner's fault kind of a thing. So he kind of shifts the blame throughout that, that second sentence. He says, it's not dog's fault, it's owner's fault because they, now it went from me to they, which is a crazy transition. And then he comes back to you, like it's more personal again, you, must have time to spend. But I feel like he's talking about like the royal you, like all of us, you know, not just me. But then he comes in at the end and says, so no punishment here for my pets, I am to blame. Which completely blows my mind. I mean, we went from me to everyone to him or her. I don't know, this is Dan Darth, so it might be a, might be a girl, I don't know. That's just a crazy comment. Really enjoyed that one. Thank you so much, Dan Darth. Second comment here is one of a kind. One of a kind said, is his dang dog named Britney Spears? People act like their dogs are people and so special, but name them as if they're a joke. Actually, Britney Spears is not a joke name. She is a master of her craft and a beautiful human being. So you, you take that. You take it back. Thank you, one of a kind. Really enjoyed that comment as well. Next up, this comment comes from Luis Reza. This was one of my favorite comments of the month. It was really good. He said, the black clothes, quote unquote, the black clothes part, you can literally just put them away in drawers or closet. That's not such a big deal unless you're disorganized or messy. Yeah, when you wear them, they'll get caught with hair, but that's where the lint roller comes in and put it up. Haven't had that issue. Same with socks. Time they require a lot, but I still find free time for my Husky and we are doing just time. Even with work. You don't have to sacrifice any of these things, nor is it hard. I've had my Husky for seven months already. I just, I gotta. Congratulations, my bro. Pound it, pound, I, I can't, I'm gonna pound the microphone. Found. Thank you, Louis Reza. I really appreciate the comment. It was awesome. <laughs> Miko Maxwell, I give you a high five, bro. This one's awesome. I hate his hand. <laughs> At least you don't hate the rest of me. I'll, you can, you can hate my hand. Just don't hate my ankles. All right, that's gonna do it. I made fun of enough people. I've explained everything that you guys need to know today. I will have an awesome episode for you guys first thing tomorrow morning.
If you guys liked today's episode and you thought it was informative, go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you thought it was funny, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any more goodness, my friends. And I will see you next time with another episode of Guess What? You know exactly what. Don't you forget it, whatever we make. Peace!